Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Jazz and today I will be reviewing the Battle Visor. Sorry, uh, I know I have like the shadow across my face, but it's because I have the visor down because otherwise I'd be blinded, which hopefully this will help. We're going to find out, drive around a little bit, hopefully I don't run out of gas, and we're going to figure out whether it's worth it or not. Um, I looked it up online. It's about $12, $13, depending on where you get it from, or between $12 and $15, depending on where you get it from. Of course, always shop around, especially if you're cheap like me. <laughs> um, I believe on Walmart, it was $12.66, and I think on Amazon, it was like $15. So, like I said, always shop around, unless, of course, you just need to bring it in there. But either way, we're going to find out whether between $12 and $15, it's worth it. So, it's a simple little device. Just going to set it up on the visor now if you're like me and you have this little thing for the garage um, it's not gonna fit exactly right oh wait I can scoot it over just enough nope so um, and it's weird because where are the instructions at I just seen them I looked at the instructions before I opened it and it's weird because on the on here it shows it where it's on the front but on the instructions it says to set it up like this so i think that's weird but like i said we're gonna find out um one thing i can say is that it may be very beneficial i'm hoping it's beneficial because um there's times where the sun's setting as i'm ho coming home from work and the visor's sitting here but the sun's coming out through here so we're gonna and i think yeah i still set it up like this even lower so if you're short like me this may be an added benefit but we're gonna spot, we're gonna drive around a little bit and see if I can still see. As of right now, um, I'm not as blinded, but um, we're gonna see. And see if I need to stick with the uh, stick with this so I can see, or stick with their original creation of the Battle Vision glasses. But we're gonna see because they are created by the same company. We're gonna see if it's worth it or not. Um, one of the things I thought originally, why is this kind of have the amber color? Um, why isn't it like the glasses but if you actually look through the glasses it still has that amber amber tint to it so you, you can see it so it still has that little amber tint to it um, a little bit more on the black side but I guess because of the mirror it has that still the amber tint but either way we're gonna find out if this works let's go hopefully I don't get into an accident with you guys so if you're on the road stay off the road right by now <laughs> Fair warning, I got my, as my dad would say, I got my license out of a Cracker Jack box. <laughs> so as of right now, the way the sun's hitting me, it's not really hitting me, so I can't really tell whether it works or not. What I think they need to have is like a surround, not, I guess surround sound, so to speak, but like a surround vision board, however you want to phrase it probably not phrasing it the right way but you guys know what I'm talking about like where it's surrounding <sighs> okay I'm probably going just talking to myself right about now I hope everybody's having a great day night morning whatever time you're watching this like I said I gotta cover my bases <sighs> unfortunately I'm dreading tomorrow because I gotta go to work tomorrow <sighs> if this is your Friday I don't like you right now <laughs> Unless it's actually Friday, then yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Of course, I probably need to turn around so the sun can just glare directly into my eyes. So that way I can see whether it works or not. Because right now the sun isn't playing nice. It's not working with me. I was going to review it earlier, but it wouldn't have done any point. It would have been kind of pointless because the sun wasn't glaring directly at me. So that's the reason why I had to wait a little bit later. Let's see what, and we're gonna explore the neighborhood. All right, this is pointless because the sun's right here and this is right here. I'm kind of frustrated with this right now. The sun's not playing nice. But what I could do, I could do it this way, although that's kind of pointless because the sun's still not being blocked. So I do it now, that won't work either. Trying to figure out how this can work without it being difficult. Alright, so the sun is getting blocked pretty well. I like the fact that I can move this around so that way I can get it extra kind of protection. I'm just gonna go straight. So it does work. 
and it, I find it, you know, like I said, pretty beneficial, especially I know as the sun sets lower, of course it's going to get lower to my eye level to where it's blinding me and the visor won't help any at all. So whether you want a lot of protection or a little bit, I think it works and I think it's beneficial. Um, I definitely will be keeping this and uh, using it as much as possible, especially driving home in the late evenings when I'm blinded by the sun. Who knows, I may get a second one for that side. <laughs> and no, it's not for the passengers, for me, because like right now the sun's kind of hitting it at, at a different angle. I'm gonna turn back around and go. But we're gonna drive around a little bit more to kind of test it out still. All right, guys. I'm driving around a little bit, but guess where I'm about to go? I'm also going to be doing a new, another review, so make sure that you subscribe because I'm about to go try the Impossible Burger. So if you guys want to join me on that adventure, subscribe and let me know how you found it, found this video as well as any other videos that you've seen. Um, I appreciate those that have told me. Thank you. Um, Maria is a regular commenter, so she did tell me where she found me um, with my ketchup slices, which I think is funny. <laughs> but um, like I said, let me know where you found me and let's go try this Impossible Burger because I'm getting hungry and I've been craving a burger, which I'm not supposed to have. So let's hope this is a good alternative. So I went ahead and parked <laughs> so I can give you a little bit of kind of do a closing, but also give you know, a little bit more update and as I'm driving and kind of thinking of different scenarios of where this will be beneficial. Um, for the tall people in the world, first of all, I don't like you. <laughs> um because you obviously won't need this as much as a short person. But then again, you know, I take that back because it can benefit um, tall people. Although, um, I don't like you anyways because you're tall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but I don't know about you, but have you ever been sitting in a light where the sun's kind of blaring down at you and you're kind of having to kind of play the guessing game of when to look down to get the light? This will be beneficial in those cases because, like I said, it protects you from the sun, but there's nothing, there's no, your view's not obstructed. So that's something to think about. Um, it's definitely beneficial. I would, you know, kind of do it a little bit longer, um, but, you know, it's kind of simple and easy to use, self, kind of self-explanatory. I do like this um, little sliding piece because you know, you can actually move it around and kind of get a little bit of extra protection uh, for your eyes. There is another version of this from with a different brand. I cannot remember of it. Um, I will put it um, right here, in this little caption right here. Um, the name of it um, that I will be doing an individual review on it as well as comparison video. So make sure that you subscribe and so that way you can know about this. But I definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, whether you're short or tall, um, you can benefit from it because um, that way you can actually see what color the light is without having to kind of play the guessing game <laughs> of when to look around um, and not be blinded at the same time. So uh, make sure that you subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'll be more than happy to respond. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.